Let's unbox some tarantulas. Hey guys, it's been a very long time. Thank you so much for sticking up with the channel. And in today's video, we are basically going to unbox some tarantulas. We have two packages. This is the first package, and let's unbox it. So as you can see, the tarantula is really well packaged inside newspaper and stuff. And let's see if it's alive. And you clearly cannot see, but it's there. Yeah, hey, there you go. You can see this one is a Nandu Tripepi sling. It's pretty big for a sling, and yeah, it's all right. Now let's just set up an enclosure for this sling, and we'll rehouse it. So the enclosure is really simple. Uh, it's just a box with uh, some holes for ventilation. I'll pour a, uh, about one mm uh, thick layer of water. and then put all the coco peat on top of it what this does is it creates a moisture barrier inside the coco peat and keeps humidity high inside the enclosure so guys as you can see i have given about two, around to 4 cm of coco peat in there I am not going to provide a height because I don't like giving heights to sling. They tend to dig their own uh, tun tunnels, so a height is not necessary for slings. And that's pretty much the basic setup. So I forgot to record the transfer part, but here is the tarantula. It's just a sling, so there was nothing complicated with the transfer thing. So yeah, at the moment she looks just like any other generic tarantula. but with time we will get to see her true colors and hopefully hopefully this is a female because they tend to get much more bulkier and the uh, cta on the females is really nice a few moments later so on to the second package so as you can see again a well packaged package and this time there are three new slings over in this package so one of them is a brachypelma albiceps i this is the first time i got this species so i'm pretty excited for that the second is a davis pentelorus i have an adult female so i wanted to get another one just in case it's a male and the third one is another brachypelma albiceps let's see if they are fine or not <laughs> so you can see uh, this one is fine it's a davis pentelorus it's pre pretty pretty big sling and he looks fine let's check the other ones as well yep this one is also fine sticking right to the lid <laughs> that's great <laughs> Yeah, this one, bro. Albiceps is really small, but yeah, I think it's fine. I've raised slings from this size only, so it's no problem. The third one is also fine. Yep. So now let's rehouse them. A few moments later. So guys as you can see this time I added a water dish but I will remove it honestly because slings at this stage they will not really use the water dish they'll just uh, drink the water from the substrate or from the condensation on the sides of the enclosure so water dish is not really necessary as long as there is enough humidity in the uh, setup so I'll most probably remove it afterwards but I'll leave, I'll leave it there for now but let's see what happens now it's just a new world sling so i'm not really worried about rehousing these guys at all and they're really tiny and i <laughs> brachypelmas don't really bolt so um, 
it's all chill pretty chill <laughs> nothing exciting here so there's there goes the first link for now we will just rehouse the slings and after that we'll take a closer look at all the slings and yeah i'll add the water as well because i've added the caps but i forgot to add the water so we'll do that once again guys uh, just like the previous enclosure there is a layer of water underneath the coco peat as well just to keep the humidity high because i've seen in slings if there's humidity problems even in brachypelmas they tend to have molting problems like this has not happened with me but i've seen other people's uh, tarantulas get stuck in molts while molting and stuff so i just don't take any risk so yeah extremely tiny slings but it's fun to raise them from this size as you can see them get their coloration and grow and stuff so it's always better for me to it's more enjoyable for me to raise slings from this size and i'm just checking if it's fine because uh, she stumbled down but she's fine no last but not the least the davis pentalaurus i absolutely love this species and i have made a care sheet video for these as well if you want you can check it out i'll link it up in the corner and it will be there in the description as well so do check it out later on and yeah <laughs> oops so the tarantula is fine they're just a bit cold and so they're a bit sluggish because of that i guess because it's winter time right now but they made it through the courier perfectly fine no issues and just keep them warm and everything will be sorted so guys that's it with the rehousing part now let's give them a while i'll let them stay for about a day or so and then i'll try and feed them and we'll take a closer look at the tarantulas then So guys this is the Davis Pentalaurus it's a nice size sling as you can see the colors are already showing on these guys that's why i love this species they show the colors from early on and they're really voracious eaters and they'll eat anything for now i'm feeding my slings these uh, grain grain moth uh, larvae as <laughs> they just started growing in one of my superworm culture so i separated the uh, substrate and this cultured these moth separately and they're really fast breeding so it's easy to you keep them especially for slings and yeah tarantula is nice and healthy and she, he's eating so that's great now for the albiceps both of them look completely like a generic uh, new world tarantula sling completely brown in color with time colors will come now another thing about these two guys is that these guys will not eat on camera they are camera shy and they don't like light at all so i've never seen them eat but i give them pre killed food and they eat it up as you can see the abdomen is really chunky on this one that's because i have already fed these guys once and yeah now you'll see over here that they how they absolutely refuse to take live food and they even run from it no i have no idea why they do this but pre killed food they'll eat so guys that's it for this week's video i'll be back again next week and yeah like and subscribe and do all that things and yeah i'll see you again next week bye bye